Hey Fit Fam, today I wanna to talk to you about a topic that I know is close to all of our hearts, which is weight loss, exercise, and diets. And I sent out an email just asking our members what has been an area where they were able to succeed and where do they often fall off. So one of our clients, Tamara, recently shared some of her insights about her struggles with weight around her midsection and the importance of hard work, exercise, in diet of achieving her fitness goals. So in this video, I'm gonna be sharing my thoughts on what it really takes to lose fat, gain muscle, why abs are made in the kitchen and in the gym, and how you can spot specific muscle building exercise to achieve the body that you've always wanted. So sit back, relax, and let's dive into this topic together. So Tamara says that the only thing that makes her fat fall off is both past and present was hard work, exercise, and diet. She says that there's no easy fix and that there's no one-stop shop, that everyone is different. And as far as calories you needed, metabolic rate, fasting hours, food she eats, it's finding the proper amount and the system that works for her. She says that she's always struggled with weight around her midsection, even when she was younger in high school and played every sport that she could think of, she never had a six pack of abs. But maybe this should be her new goal. So what I would say is I agree that fat, losing fat, especially over the midsection, is hard work. And I've seen people spend thousands, even hundreds of thousands of dollars instantly removing the fat with surgeries. And the fat is gone within seconds, but then it's back within months, but only to be in pain for years. And so what I would tell you is that fat is something that you either continue to grow, you either stop it where it is, or you can decrease it, okay? But just trying to make that all happen all at once isn't going to work. So when it comes to gaining abs, are they made in the kitchen? You always hear this, that abs are made in the kitchen, but I'm gonna tell you this, that abs are designed in the gym because you have to have muscle to show muscle and you need to do spot specific muscle building exercises in order to gain that core. Now I'm not saying you can do a thousand crunches and have a poor diet and eventually you're going to have a six pack, but if you're not doing the crunches and even if you're eating well, that if you're not using that muscle in that area, then you're not going to have muscle to showcase. So is it possible to spot reduce body fat? No, but can you build muscle in a specific area? Heck yeah. I mean, people that would argue against this, I would tell them, go look at speed skaters. Speed skaters don't really use their upper body. What do they do? They use their legs. Same with hockey players, look at their legs. Their legs are jacked, they have a ton of muscle in there, not a lot of muscle into that upper body. So the same would go if, if you do your abs consistently and you're doing them over the course of years that you're going to have the muscle in there. Now being able to spot reduce fat, well that's going to take a combination of diet and exercise, but more importantly consistency. And so when it comes to the diet portion is that you wanna make sure that you're in a caloric deficit that is fostering a fat burning environment, meaning that the fat is going to be reduced because the fat isn't getting refilled. So as this fat reduced and the muscle becomes more prevalent, then guess what? The muscle that you have is going to show because the fat that's covering the muscle is now shrunk and the muscle is more muscle than there is body fat. Now I know that abs take time because for me, when I first started in this industry, I was a personal trainer, and so I would do like eight to 10 sessions a day, and with every single client, I would do the abs with them. But because of the nature of how I was working back then, you know, there was like three clients in the morning, two in the mid-morning, two in the afternoon, and then like four in the evening, something like that, that I barely ate in between, and so, the foods that I was eating, I didn't know much about nutrition. There wasn't much available back then. So I would just eat like a tub of peanut butter, right? Or I'd eat a ton of eggs in, in orange juice, right? Or I would just go and eat McDonald's or whatever it was, it wasn't McDonald's. Cause I know when I started training, it wasn't McDonald's, but I would definitely go and eat something that I didn't know wasn't great for me. And so it was kind of like creating a balance. Yes, I was doing a ton of crunches and burning a bunch of calories, but I was putting a bunch of high calorie, low density foods in me, so I was eating well past what I was burning or I was meeting in the same, and as such, I didn't start to see results until after two years of consistently doing my abs and then eventually just outworking my poor nutrition. But then now that I'm able to combine the hard work, I'm able to work out smarter, less harder, because now my nutrition is making up for the 
inability to work out for two hours, three hours a day versus now I can focus on the nutrition. So the same thing I would tell you is that number one is you need to focus on building the muscle because you're not gonna be able to showcase the muscle that isn't there. Number two is that you need to find where your calories should be so that you can cater a fat burning environment. And then number three is give it time because you wanna eventually get the amount of muscle in that area as a higher percentage than the body fat in that area. So I hope that makes sense. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Understand that fat and muscle just have to be in a different proportion. You need more muscle than you do fat, but you can't outwork a poor diet. So guys, give this video a like, hit the share button, share it on Facebook, and make sure that you hit subscribe because it's gonna help us to grow more videos. It's gonna motivate me to produce more videos for you. And eventually we're gonna get you to your fittest year yet.